So I wrote an essay for Nature Chemistry called The Weight of Water, which talked about the history of deuterium oxide, and at the end, posited whether or not I would actually drink some of the stuff. It's clear it's safe to drink, but um, anything that comes in a reagent bottle um, seems to be something I didn't want to actually try. In 1934, Klaus Hansen um, in Oslo drank a lot of this, um, beginning with a 10 milliliter sample, to um, great fanfare to sort of prove that, you know, was it dangerous or not dangerous? Um, by this point, George de Havisi had already consumed, or his collaborator had consumed two liters of the stuff, so hard to know why he was so worried. Um, Harold Urey, a year later, then wanted to say whether or not it had a burning sensation when you drank it, which is what Hansen reported. And so um, Urey did a blind taste test. So I'm gonna repeat the blind taste test with a little help from Christopher Donnay, who's behind the camera, who has prepared for me two vintage glasses, one of which contains 99.9% D2O and the other which contains um, H2O um, distilled deionized. Um, so I'm gonna take a sip of each and see if I can tell the difference. Tastes like water. Looks like water. This one actually, there is a slight taste of sweet to it, which someone has reported about D2O. We're gonna try again. Tastes like water. I'm gonna say this is the D2O, and it doesn't taste quite like the H2O, but who knows? So now we're gonna have a little reveal. Uh, alpha was regular water. And one was D2O. Ah, this is the D2O. I was right. That is the D2O. And to me, it tasted different. It tasted sweet. And this is the regular 